three, two. Here's Johnny. Sorry I didn't do that on the PS5 unboxing. But anyways, I'll be doing that for now on. Today's video, we will be reviewing the Lego Haunted House. It says it's 18 plus, but I'm not. It's for everybody, I'd say. 3,231 pieces. That's a lot. And here is the back. It kind of shows how it's inside. It decorated the box. Pretty cool. And then it kind of shows also what characters comes on the top too. And so this is the set. It comes with this minifigure. It's a girl, by the way. It comes with, it looks like this is like the guy who owns the place, it looks like, the haunted house. And when we got it, we got two of the same guys. I'm pretty sure that's kind of weird, but also a little bit creepy, so, with the haunted house. That scares me more than the ghosts. You've got this guy in a wheelchair. One of It's pretty impressive. It's a pretty cool wheelchair. Just put him in. You could put anybody in there. Another visitor... These are two ghosts. It comes with whatever, you can have whatever face you want on them. I put one sad and one happy. So now it's time to open up and show for a close view. There it is. So, it looks like this skeleton is hanging. Oh, and guys, forgot to tell you, there's another person that comes with the set. It's her. Another visitor. So they're just, I guess, coming to visit. Skeleton, pretty creepy. So you can hang him up here and then drop him. Pretty neat. Tickets, where I think you have to pay. Here, one of my favorite parts, the organ. It's humongous. And here's some more candles. Here, we've got a huge gold painting. Not a lot of gold pieces, so that's pretty cool. And if you press the light in the back, what happens on the other side? Where is it? I forgot about it. When we were building it, we actually found it. Should be a button somewhere here. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, like that. Oh! It's haunted. It's haunted. Look at that, guys. I don't know if you can see that, but there's like a pharaoh ghost almost, it looks like. That's pretty creepy. I don't know how they do that. Interesting. And the best part of it, a ride. Now, I'm not going to put anybody in it, but basically how it works is in the back of the haunted mansion... It looks, there's this thing, and then you basically turn it around for the cart to be moving up and up. And then they're going to go outside and go down. Got you guys. They're just going to go back down. They don't, just to scare them a little bit. And that's basically the whole haunted mansion it has. By the way, if you guys are wanting this, you should probably go get it now. Because they're not going to be out for that much longer. Probably maybe another week. Because when we went to the Lego store, there was only one in stock left. One. That's not a lot. We got it pretty late. And oh yeah, I forgot to say there's a Pharaoh thing here too. Mm -hmm. It's always out of stock. And it costs $300 million. What do you think of the study? Would you recommend it? Yes, the best part is definitely the ride. You can probably fool a few people by when they go up. You could, people think they're gonna go, they're gonna go through the doors, but it's just a trick. Oh, and one more thing to mention: when we got the house, we were missing a piece right here. I don't know why, but for some reason that happened. Bye.